good morning super cool party people and welcome back to the theater and boy am i out of sorts today so for like the past two weeks i think i've used my headphones twice because I couldn't have them on because I had to listen for the phone and blah, blah, blah and all that jazz. So I left the house today, got to the bus stop. Like two minutes later, I was like, oh, I should put on my, oh, I don't have my headphones. I'm gonna be very sad today because it means like I have to work and interact with people or something. So that kind of sucks. Also, like I couldn't find my tripod for my camera and I was like, whatever, I'll just find it when I get home. I opened my backpack to grab my camera. Tripod was in the backpack, so. You know, we're, do we're doing all right. We're not doing all right at all. Anyways, plan for today is just to do a quick shift. Um, it's just like tiny touch up kind of things that uh, didn't get done while I was away. Just getting the details in and um, then maybe a nap. I'm pretty tired. Like I went to sleep at 11 last night, which we know was so late for me. And um, I woke up at five because I had to pee rude and then i had dreams about kittens like i guess because jessica was texting me pictures of her new kitten last night and i had dreams that like we had a cat and then the cat had kittens but then all of a sudden the kittens got really big and except for one it was really small but it was like stuffed i don't know it was really weird anyway i'm gonna go have my breakfast drink try to wake up a little bit and get into this fun thing called work I think the way this room looks right now is kind of an accurate description of how I feel as a person. A mess. <laughs> um, but packages, so let's open these. I'm honestly not really sure the best way how to open this giant package behind me is, but let's we'll start with the smaller one. Um, hair things. <laughs> so I saw these really cute scrunchies and I was going to order them from the site that I saw them from. Oh, look, I got a free little gift. It's a bracelet that won't fit me. But anyways, I saw these cute scrunchies and I was going to order them from the site that I saw them on, but they wouldn't ship to Canada. So screw you, I ordered them on Amazon. They are just, they're so adorable. They're scrunchies with ears on them. I'm so excited. Anyway, beautiful. <laughs> but I got a bunch of different colors. Um, so I'm really excited about that. There's so many, so many. I ordered those forever ago, but they came from China, I think. So it took a while, but now this beast. <laughs> How it is actually heavy. I saw online um, that it was 21 pounds. I believe it. So, if you know, Canada has a postal strike going on right now. So I ordered stuff from Amazon thinking, well, I won't get this for a while. But then I ordered more stuff from Amazon and I guess they saw that I had the two orders. So they put it all together, which was super exciting. So it came by Pure later in a giant box all together. Goodbye. Oh God. Okay, let's put it over there. Let's bring you a little closer. Lighting's terrible, I'm sorry. Okay, first thing, I got a new comforter, or a duvet, it's a king size. I have a queen size bed, but I decided that I wanted a giant blanket, so I got a new king size duvet. I'm very excited for it, but, well, I don't know where it is. There it is. But when you buy a new duvet, sometimes you want a new duvet cover. <laughs> So I got a new duvet cover as well. And it had mixed reviews, but I think it'll be okay. And it's like this light gray with X's and circles on it. Um, and then the other side is that. So I think it'll be okay. It'll just definitely tone down my room a bit. I'm so sorry for this lighting. There we go. It'll definitely tone down the room a bit. I think it should be good. I'm very excited to get it on my bed. Um, and then I'll be super cozy because winter is cold. I also got Cause like when I'm at work, I feel like I'm constantly using plastic spoons and stuff. Lighting is terrible. So I got this set right here, a reusable fork spoon and chopstick because that's how the set comes. Um, but yeah, so they're just metal and plastic. They're super cute. Um, they're very weird and skinny looking so that they can fit 
in this tube. And then, bam. And then it just goes in here. And then I will always have extra utensils to go with my straws that I have. So I thought that was pretty cool. Something I've wanted to get for a while. I just finally got it. The graphing pads that I talked about the other day. Um, very excited about this. You can't see what's on them, but right back there, I've got a timetable and then two maps from my world. So we'll just add to it with these ones. And then last but not least, no, come out. Come out as one. I got these uh, storage cubes because I have those cubey things. Um, I just want it to be more organized. So I got six of these in this color because it kind of goes with like the teal accents and stuff that I have in the room. So that's exciting. But now that's a mess. And I really want to put my duvet on my bed. So I'm going to do that. And then hopefully at the end of this, my room will be less of a disaster. I'm going to change into something more comfortable. And yeah, we're just going to going to need to sort this out a bit. Well, I haven't touched the camera since like I first got home and opened those packages because I was busy organizing and tidying and then it was D&D &D, and then I've just been editing the last of my blind channel vlogs. So yeah, but let's give you a little overview. You can see right back here I got those um, bins, baskets, whatever you want to call them, cubes are in there. I think it looks so much better now and it's a lot more organized and then over here, the bed. So exciting. I was afraid that with this gray, it was gonna be like super washed out, but I actually really like it. It's super soft and um, my brain is not functioning well, but I'm very excited to climb under it because it feels super cozy. So that's very exciting. But I think like it's 20 after 11. This is way later than my bedtime has been lately, so I'm probably gonna go to sleep soon. But while I was editing the vlog, I mentioned yesterday that I'd pulled out my games and stuff, which are no longer up there where I put them, but they're over there. You can't, right? They're all in there. Anyway, I was mentioning that I was thinking about grabbing uh, Phantom Hourglass to play soon, and then I happened to come across my phantom hourglass case for my ds ds light which is the triforce legend of zelda edition because i'm such a nerd um and to like you know the cherry on top it's got phantom hourglass in it can you tell i like uh legend of zelda games anyways <laughs> with that thought or whatnot. There's not many thoughts left in my head. I'm gonna go now. I'm actually gonna combine today, tomorrow, and the next day, I believe, into one vlog. So then we'll be back to daily vlogging, which is exciting. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we continue this vlog. Good night. Good morning, super cool party people. It is Saturday, and I slept until like 10, and it was amazing. I mean, I woke up like at 6 and then 7.30 and 8.30, but I was like, no, we're sleeping in. I was like, when I woke up at 7.30 though, I was like wide awake. <laughs> so I probably should have got up, but it's fine. Um, Today, I think it's gonna be kind of chill day. I'm gonna make my bed because I like to do that. And um, I'm gonna meet up with my cousin's girlfriend because she needs some help with one of her school projects. Uh, so yeah, that's, yeah, I need to like get dressed though and look human because she needs to me to be on camera for whatever it is. So yes, that's the plan for today for now. Okay, well, I'm ready for the day except I'm still wearing my pajamas, but I mean baby steps, right? I even did a braid. I'm getting, my braid game is upping. Also, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm wearing makeup and that doesn't happen very often, but I figure if I got a film for her, I might as well also film for me today. So I got two videos I need to film, so why not? I'll probably just film one because I don't want to change my hair, but you know, that's a thing. Um, but yeah, just watching some YouTube and just waiting now, but my bed's all nice and made. I really love this new duvet and cover. Okay, so I helped my cousin's girlfriend with her thing. We like filmed a little Thing about nursing it was awkward and weird especially because like I'm so used to filming myself and like not having anyone else around when I do it so 
that's what I've done. I found my tripod, which I I thought it was under my bed. It was definitely under my bed, but I found it now officially, and I think I'm going to record one of my Dungeons and Dragons things because I take notes the whole time, which is super convenient in general um, when we're playing the game. Like, we need to recap if someone missed something. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to film that now. I just need to find out which one and like kind of where we are at there we go episode five and um yeah go from there and i think we're gonna go out and do a little bit of shopping it seems like there's always something we need if it's either like food or cleaning products or something for the house so yeah that's what we're gonna do but first get that done while everyone's getting ready. I think I've been kind of terrible at vlogging today, but it's fine because we're combining vlogs. It's okay to have less. Anyways, we did go to the store and I got exciting things like king size pillows. Uh, so the cases, because it was a king size duvet, were king size pillowcases. They're giant pillows. Like, they're huge. I can't even describe how huge they seem. Um, I'm just working on timeline stuff here for my story because that's important um, getting things sorted. I'm also blogging over there. We are being productive today and I filmed a video earlier so like I'm killing it. Anyway, I've actually been blogging pretty consistently so you can also check it out down below. My link is there. It's like an invincible summer WordPress something. It's there. Um, and I found my uh, camp uh, poster for National Mall Party Month, so camp is in like November and August. I think I might put it up. I really like the colors, but I'm trying to make it lie a little bit. A flatter right now. Yeah, so I, I feel like I'm having a pretty productive day. I want to get this timeline finished today. Uh, it's a character's lifespan timeline, and then off there I can start to build the rest of the timeline for this story because it's with the revelations that I made while I was out on Blind Channel. It's um... I need to make sure that the timeline lines up because right now I think it was a little bit nebulous so I just need to make sure that certain things happen at certain times. So that's what's important there. But yeah, so I'm feeling super productive. I'm gonna finish my blog here I think and then I'm going to go start prepping dinner and then after dinner's over I can probably come back here and get some stuff done which is super exciting. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm feeling feeling like we're being productive and that's an amazing thing. I am struggling with this timeline right now. It, it happened to me before where I had a character so that I was like, oh, how old is he? And then I kind of went through everything that he'd done in his life and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. And that's kind of where I'm at here. I can cut a few corners, obviously, going back a little bit, um, but I'm about five years ahead of where I want to be right now in the story or in in this person's life so i need to re-examine at least if i get everything down i can adjust the dates later but yeah the struggle the struggle is real but it's all right but it's real but actually this could work <laughs> because on top of like this there's other like places and there's just so much stuff that i need to nail down this timeline is basically what it is i've been putting it off forever but I need to nail down this timeline so I can figure it out. <sighs> Timelines, they're the worst. Yeah, yeah, they're the worst. All right, so I am making pretty good progress on my list. I think the last time I checked in was before dinner. So while I was cooking dinner, I was sitting on the floor in the kitchen working out my timeline. Uh, I think I've got it mostly figured out now. I'm gonna type it up here in a little bit and then just kind of add in the details that I need. But for the most part, I think it's okay other than I need to find five years and shift it. But we're doing all right. I've got a bit of a mess on my bed, but it was because I was trying to tidy this off. It's mostly clean except for my guilty pleasures over there. Um, and I also tidied off over here. It was piled with paper and unnecessary stuff. So we're slowly making progress on the room. But now I think I'm going to just continue on my list. So much stuff to do. I think we're down, we're halfway through now. Oh, I can actually cross two things off the list because I just did them. So we're more than halfway through, which is very exciting because it's nine o'clock at night. So we don't have all the time in the world here. And um, I'm just exporting my vlog. I exported in the wrong format because I'm an idiot. 
I was exporting videos to put up on Instagram and it's a different format, but it's fine. We're all good, so that's almost done. When that's done, I can post that and cross another thing off the list. So we're making a lot of progress here. So I'm gonna go for now, stop talking because I'm just blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you later. All right, so I typed up my timeline and I'm within two years now of where I had it initially with the characters. So I might leave it or I might change it. We'll see how I feel. I've done everything on my list except for doing a map of the city that the story starts in. So I think I might quickly rough one out, not a final copy, just like rough it out, try to figure out where things are positioned and then call it a night. Cause it's like 10 to 11, but I've, I'm very happy with how productive I've been. So yay me and tomorrow is another day. Because all I'm gonna do now is draw a map, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So with that, thank you for coming along on today's adventure and I will see you tomorrow as we continue this vlog in an effort to get back to legit daily vlogs. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, super cool party people. It's the last day of this combined vlog and then tomorrow I'll be back on to regular daily vlogging which is like really cool because it's been a while but it's also a little bit concerning because now I have to edit and upload every night which is something I haven't been doing for like a while like since June to be honest, but it's cool. I should be able to survive it. Let's hope and if not, we'll maybe figure something else out I slept super well last night. You can probably tell from the state of disarray my bed is in um, So that's good. I think I'm gonna roll on upstairs and see if we want to do something For breakfast. It's like just about 10 now. Uh, I've just been on my computer But I think it's time to start moving so I'm gonna go do that and then um I guess make a list today and see how productive I can be because I was pretty productive yesterday But I didn't get any editing done, which is something that I want to do every day. So Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so it's been like oh, almost two hours now since I woke up We had breakfast and I have edited the majority of this vlog because I'm combining the three days again uh, just so I won't be completely overwhelmed tonight when I have to edit everything except I'm an idiot so like to cut in my program that I use it's control B and to start a new project it's control N and as long as you like keep saving it if you hit control N it'll just start a new project so I did that three times which is a record for me because normally I only do it like once maybe twice but we're edited up to date now. I'm gonna make my bed now because it is a mess and I should probably get dressed. And then I don't know what the day's gonna ring, but I think it's sunny out there. So let's open the windows and we can get some fresh sunlight in here and maybe my plant won't die. It's still alive, but I don't know for how much longer. All right, I feel like I've been super unproductive all day. It's almost 2.30. I did write a blog post, so there's that. Uh, keeping on top of that, I don't know. I just felt the need to start daily blogging again. I guess, I don't know. Anyways, I'm feeling a little bit tired, but we're not gonna nap because napping would mean no progress. I changed the goal board a little bit because before it said goal two chapters per day and then I had other things I want to do, but I was like, it'd make more sense to have what the current chapter I'm working on is. It's chapter four, Ugh. so I should probably get into that. I don't have anything else to procrastinate my time away doing. I ate lunch, I like, it's time. It's time. Okay, so I just finished chapter four because I was like halfway through it. I did chapter five and chapter six. I'm on chapter seven now, so we're making very good progress today. I mean, in all fairness, it was super helpful that like chapter six had like no changes other than some grammar issues. And kind of same with chapter four and five. They, they're a bit short, but I don't think they're so short that it's like, oh my god, this was the shortest chapter ever. Like, I was reading a book, and I swear, on my phone, and like, that screen isn't that big, I swear it was two pages on there. And I was like, that was the shortest chapter ever. So these ones are like, each three computer pages, which is math, words, 750, something like that, I think. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Chapter seven, apparently, according to my notes, doesn't have any massive changes, so that's good too, but then we're getting into chapter eight, which is what I need the map for, because that's kind of the first issue of how long does it take to get to this place. But I think I'm gonna take a break now. I might head to the store, because I think I might do tortillas for dinner, and if I do that, I need to pick up 
some tortilla shells, but I'm gonna go confer with everyone, see what everyone's feeling for dinner, and um, go from there. All right, so we conversed about dinner and burgers was the final call, which means I don't need to go to the store to get anything, which is super exciting. Although in all fairness, if I was gonna do fajitas, I was thinking about just making the tortilla shells myself because I didn't have to go to the store. Um, but yeah, so that's good. So I don't have to worry about that for a while now. I just played a quick couple, like a quick round or so, a couple levels on Bubble Bobble in the Neo Geo. It's cold in that room and I didn't feel like turning on the heat and staying in there. So now I'm back here and we're gonna do this. I think I might relocate to my bed though because, I mean, to my couch because my back is hurting a little bit from like sitting. I mean, it helps that I have the ottoman under here. So like I just put my feet up and it's almost like being on a couch, but not quite. So I think I might relocate. Although there are a few other things that I want to do, like cleaning and such. Maybe I'll do chapter seven because according to my notes, chapter seven doesn't have a lot of work. So maybe I'll do chapter seven and then do some puttering in my room for a bit. Yeah, let's do that. So I think I mentioned before that I'm like trying to figure out distances and stuff to places in the town where my story starts. And wow, my brain is not functioning well because apparently math is hard. So <laughs> it's cool. I got it. Okay, I just figured it out now. But geez, I was like sitting here going, okay, so if this is when she leaves, then this is when she gets there, but uh, anyways, uh, we're doing well. I'm in chapter eight now, which is exciting. I think I'm actually, never mind. I thought that might've been the chapter break, but not quite yet. So I'm in chapter eight now. This figuring out the math thing is one of the major issues in this chapter. It looks like it's that, and I have a really awkward run on sentence, apparently. <laughs> um, I might've fixed it a little bit in my second run through, I'm not sure. But we're doing all right. It's only about 10 after eight and um, I'm feeling like I've been pretty productive and I'm feeling like I'm enjoying where the story's going. Part of me, because this is what happens when I set goals, is the goal is two chapters a day. But part of me is like, well, I'm on chapter eight now. If I get to chapter 10, then I'm like a third of the way through. So we'll see what happens. I mean, the faster I get through this, obviously the faster I'm gonna get through it in general, but also the faster I'm gonna get to those chapters that I have to rewrite, which I'm not looking forward to. So we'll see what happens, but I just wanna check in because I'm super stoked with the progress I have been making. And I've almost crossed everything off my list for the day. So that's exciting. One thing I'm not gonna do, I was gonna film a D&D &D episode, but I don't feel like putting on makeup or setting up my tripod or any of that stuff. So that's, that's cool. That's totally cool. But yeah, so I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna get back to this and see where that takes me. I can't remember when I last picked up the camera, but I finished editing chapter eight and then I was like, um, lazy. So I had a shower and I watched two episodes of Elementary because I got the CBS all access streaming thing because I want to watch more Elementary. And there's a couple other shows on there that I want to watch, so. We're trying it out. I'm in free trial right now. We'll see if I keep it. I also did a face mask. My face looks so glowy right now. It feels sticky AF though, but it looks good. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'm going to end the vlog here. And then tomorrow we are going to be back to daily vlogging. Like I vlog all day and at night I edit and I post and we'll see if that works. <laughs> um, so with that, thank you for coming along on these last three days worth of adventures, which haven't really been adventures at all, to be honest, and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night. <laughs>